hello viewers in this aptitude problem we are going to see problems based on area so in this problem what i am going to do is i will uh, teach you from the book and i will draw the diagram whenever necessary to make you understand clearly okay so in the area we are mainly going to focus on two things first is triangles for those who do not know what triangle means it means thing that consists of three lines joining each other and it is a closed figure as the figure has three angles there therefore uh, let them be a b and c therefore the name triangle okay and what are quadrilateral quadrilateral is a closed figure that mainly consist of four angles triangle means three angle quadrilateral means four angles we will discuss more about them in this video so uh, what are the properties of triangle some of the angles of triangle is 180 degree uh, read it from the book some of the angles of the triangle is 180 degree so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degree the second property is sum of two sides of triangle is greater than the third side uh, let's the length of this side be a this side be b this side be c then it is given that a plus b is always greater than c c plus a is always greater than b and b plus c is always greater than a that means sum of the length of two sides is always greater than the third side the sum of two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side the next thing is pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus height square So in Pythagoras theorem, suppose it is the right angle triangle, AC square is equals to BC square plus AB square where AC is hypotenuse and these are the two sides of the triangle the line joining midpoint of a side of triangle to the opposite vertex is called the median so suppose it is the triangle and it is the midpoint and the lines joins here so opposite to the vertex is called median so this line is called median the point where three medians of triangle meet is called centroid the point where three medians of a triangle meet is called centroid the centroid divides each of the medians in the ratio 2 ratio 1 so suppose there are three medians like this so the ratio is 2 2 2 1 1 1 so it always divides them in the ratio 2 ratio 1 okay so i hope you are clear with this and now moving to next one next one it states that in an isosceles triangle the altitude from the berserk vertex bisects the base so what do you mean by an isosceles triangle an isosceles triangle is the triangle in which two sides of the triangle are equal so let it be an isosceles triangle suppose this side and this side are of same length the altitude from the berserk bisects the base so if it is an altitude then this side 
and this side are equal because it is bisecting the base the median of a triangle divides it into two triangles of same area also this median will divide them into let's say it an area it is an area b then a and b are equal the both the areas are same the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to the half of it so let uh, let the triangle be like this so the question says the line joining to the medium let's say it uh, be a it be b so it be b by 2 it be b by 2 it be a by 2 it be a by 2 so the line joining them divides the triangle midpoints of two sides of triangle is parallel to this third side and equal to the half of it so this line that has been formed is parallel to the third side and the length of this line let it be l is half of the length of the third side that means if the length of the third side is 2l then the length of this side will be l so let us look at the another property the four triangles formed by joining the midpoints of sides of given triangle are equal in area each equal to one fourth of the given triangle so let uh, let the triangle be like this these are the midpoints that are joining each other so these are the four triangles that are formed so let us look at what the property says about these four triangles the four triangles formed by the joining the midpoints of sides of a given triangle are equal in area each equal to one fourth of the given triangle so they both have the same area and area of one triangle is equal to 1 by 4 so that is the thing now let us look at another property the ratio of areas of two similar triangle is equal to ratio of the squares of their corresponding side and their corresponding altitudes so uh, let there are two similar triangles it is triangle a it is triangle b they both are similar triangles then the ratio of areas of two similar triangle is equal to ratio of their squares of corresponding sides these are the corresponding sides a b uh, let it be a let it be capital a then the ratio of area let's say it has area of say capital x it has an area of capital y so x ratio y is equals to a square ratio a square and also their corresponding altitude suppose uh, we are forming an altitude and the triangle is something like that then um, the altitude it is L it is L then it would be L square and L square so we are done with the triangle part the problem the type of problems we are going to see in the triangle part and the properties of triangles so now let us look at the quadrilateral 
so the quadrilateral first property of quadrilateral states that the diagonal of a parallelogram bisect each other the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other so it is the parallelogram and they bisect each other that means it is a it is a it is b it is b second property each diagonal of parallelogram divides it into triangles of the same area uh, so let the parallelogram be like this and then if you it is a diagonal then the area this side is equals to the area this side and other if you draw the other diagonal it will also divide them in same area and moving to next point next point is the diagonals of rectangle are equal and bisect each other so this is the rectangle so the diagonals are equal this diagonal and this diagonal they are equal and they bisect each other the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles so let it be a square the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles so the diagonals that I'm going to draw here are equal in length and they bisect each other at right angle so moving to next property diagonals of rhombus are unequal and bisect each other at right angles so let it be a rhombus so the diagonals are unequal but they bisect each other at 90 degree a parallelogram and rectangle on the same base and between them parallels are equal in areas a parallelogram I'll let it be a parallelogram this is the parallelogram and a rectangle on the same base and we are going to draw the rectangle they both are on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area so suppose it is a rectangle and it is a parallelogram they both have the same area if they are on the same base okay now moving to next point of all the parallelograms of given sides the parallelogram of all the parallelograms of given sides the parallelogram which is rectangle has the greatest area so the all the things that I have drawn here uh, the parallelogram that is an area and uh, that is a rectangle will have the greatest area so basically if you want to define the parallelogram parallelogram is just like this and if the sides are equal it will be called as rhombus just in case you do not know it already the line joining midpoints of the known parallel sides of trapezium is parallel to each of the parallel sides and equal to half of their sum the line joining midpoints of the known parallel sides of trapezium so let the trapezium be like this and the line joining the midpoints of known parallel sides it is midpoint it is midpoint and they are known parallel sides is parallel to each of the parallel sides and equal to half of their sum so they are uh, 
let it let the gap be a let the gap be a let it be b let it be b so they are equal to half of their sum so if it is say x and it is y then x plus y is 2 times l plus b so that's what it means and now let us look at the last point it is also about the trapezium the line joining the midpoints of diagonal of trapezium is parallel to each of the parallel side and equal to half of their difference so the trapezium is like this and line joining the midpoints of the diagonals of trapezium is parallel to each of each of the parallel sides is parallel to each of the parallel sides so it is parallel to the line joining the midpoint of the diagonal okay so it is the midpoint it is parallel to both uh, the sides and equal to half of their differences and this line is also equal to let it be a let it be b so this line l will be a minus b divided by 2 okay so in this video I taught you about the properties of various figures of triangles of quadrilaterals I think this video is going too long so I'm going to make it in two parts and in the next part we are going to see the formulas uh, or you can say formally uh, based on rectangle and trapezium